love being a dad so much, I act like a dad even when I'm not with my kids. Like if I go to the park to play basketball, I'll just bring orange slices for everybody. <laughs> Be D'ing up some stranger like, hey man, you remember to wear sunscreen? It's really important. <laughs> oh man, you're acting really creepy. You're acting really cranky. What time did you go to sleep last night? <laughs> I'm always complaining about other kids. My friends are like, oh, you're like that dude. You're the creepy old guy everyone's got on their street. Like, you kids stay off my lawn. <laughs> Why is that the cliche for the creepy old guy? Wouldn't it be much worse if that dude was like, hey, you kids should come play on my lawn. <laughs> Take your shoes off. I just cut my grass. Feels nice between your toes. <laughs> now the backyard. Cut through the house, it's not a trap. <laughs> a lot creepier. No role models for kids these days. Who do we have, Bieber? That guy's screwing up left and right. I do think we need to give Justin a little bit of slack. That kid is 19 years old. He's amassed a hundred million dollars. How are you supposed to have perspective in this world when that's your situation? I had a great upbringing. Do you realize what an asshole I would have been if I was 19 years old, all of a sudden with a hundred dollars? That's all it would have taken for me to throw it away. <laughs> Screw you, mom and dad, I got five twenties. <laughs> you all of a sudden realize that doesn't take you very far. Though. Mom, dad, I'm really sorry. It's a tough world to be a parent in, even if your kids aren't celebrities, right? They're ending up spoiled left and right everywhere you look. There's a kid on my streets, eight years old, eight. His parents last Christmas bought him an iPhone. Then my six-year-old all of a sudden's like, Daddy, why can't I have one of those? Because I don't want you to be that kid in two years. That kid's eight and he sucks already. He's got a neck tattoo and two failed marriages. <laughs> his parents never say no to him trying to put some effort into this. Besides, cell phones are dumbing us down, not just kids, adults too. Guilty of it, I haven't memorized the phone number in like 15 years. <laughs> we don't use muscle memory anymore, we just scroll, scroll, send. Like if somebody pushed me in the pool and my phone was completely destroyed, I would never speak to my mother again. <laughs> uh, we had a good run, mom. <laughs> Maybe I'll run into you at Target one day. <laughs> Jerry thought it'd be funny to get me wet. He broke up our family. <laughs> I can't even drive over her house. My navigation's all jacked up too. <laughs> I only lived there 18 years. I don't remember how to get back. It requires muscle memory. Christmas is a good example of something we're doing ourselves to instill the wrong principles in our kids because we have not updated these traditions. We just pass them down lazily like they still make sense. And they might have made sense when Rocking Horse was a top five gift, but it's not anymore. <laughs> Yet we still tell our kids, write the top four or five things you want down on a piece of paper. We're gonna send that list away to Santa, which means I gotta give credit for the most expensive, most difficult presents to find that particular season to a guy that does not exist for a lie I did not start. <laughs> How's that fair to dad when you work hard all year long and then you only take credit for gifts six through 14? <laughs> That's why I've tweaked things to make it more fair, but to still keep the traditions of yesteryear somewhat intact. I tell my boys, hey guys, remember, Christmas is coming up, which means mommy and daddy are gonna buy you a lot of gifts because we think you've been really nice this year. But don't forget, Santa's gonna come visit us on Christmas Eve, and depending on how good or bad you actually were, he's gonna take as many presents as he sees fit. <laughs> it's tradition. <laughs> Hope you were good when no one was watching. Night, night. <laughs> Makes more sense. Now when they throw a tantrum on Christmas morning, oh, it's a robot, why isn't there a robot? You don't have to be a bad guy. 
or explain layaway. <laughs> you just jump on board with, what? Bought you a robot, it should be... <sighs> That's probably one of the presents Santa took. You know how hard that was for me to buy for you? Now I'm pissed off. You owe me a robot. They're gonna be appreciative for every other gift under that tree. Seems mean, but it works out better for the kids too, cause now when they're old enough that some bully convinces them Santa isn't real, instead of being devastated, they're like, oh, thank God. That dude's been jacking me for years. Instead of ripping magic away from them, we're giving them hope for the future. <laughs> it was working so well, I started incorporating the same philosophy into other aspects of parenting. And my oldest son's been a real know-it-all lately, won't listen to me when I try to impart wisdom. Incidentally, he just lost his first tooth. I recognize that as a teaching opportunity. It's like, oh, damn. That is not supposed to happen. <laughs> I told you to brush those every day. You skipped once, didn't you? That's all it takes, one time. You're gonna listen to daddy from now on, aren't you? All right, all right, stop crying, stop crying. I don't want, I mean, you don't want your mom to hear. <laughs> All right, listen, there's something you can do to try to fix this, but you did not hear this from me. Tonight, when you go to sleep, you have to leave at least a dollar under your pillow <laughs> for the tooth fairy, and maybe she'll let that shit grow back. <laughs> Probably not gonna be nice and straight like your last one, but that's on you. <laughs> it's not gonna be happy with that information. <laughs> You're gonna brush every one of those teeth till they're all gone. By the time he realizes that's normal, you got 30 something dollars saved up <laughs> towards his future dental work. That kid's chipping in for his own braces one day. That's a great kid. Good job, mom and dad, you did it. <laughs> 